Hello, my name is Mark Dolinar. I'm an applications engineer here with Hawk Ridge Systems. And today we're gonna to be looking at Visualize and creating multiple different configurations inside of the Visualize software. In this particular example, we'll see I have this car concept that I call the Mako Shark. And I'm actually gonna to wanna to create a few different renderings of my particular car. The first of which is just a stock default rendering, maybe of a red colored frame with black wheels and all the other trimmings that we would have on this particular car. The second configuration is going to have a color change of the car showing multiple different versions or maybe color options that I would have to offer if the car were to go into production. And then finally in the third configuration, I'm actually going to switch the background from being in a garage setting to maybe some sort of a studio so that if I put my visualize renderings in a brochure, they'll actually look proper in that particular environment. So for this, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to simply open up visualize and we'll see here I actually have a good majority of my project complete. I've already added all of my appearances to my default configuration and I'm ready to go and create a brand new configuration of my car. To do this, all we need to do is go all the way up to the top menu bar of our visualize menu. We'll see on the side we actually have this little drop down menu and we can click this to add a brand new configuration. In our case, I'm just gonna name this new configuration green as I will be changing the color of the car. Once this configuration is set, every single change that we'll make in our viewport window will automatically be applied to just that particular configuration. So for this, I can actually go directly back into my file library, find whatever appearance I would like. In our case, I'm just gonna go ahead and find some of our metallic paint appearances. And there's a lime green color that would look pretty nice on my car. I'm simply gonna drag and drop that in. And we'll notice at the very top of our configurations and our base configuration, the car will be red. And then in our green configuration, it will now show up as green. Now the next configuration that I wanna actually create is actually gonna be one with the green color. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose duplicate the current item. And this will actually go ahead and create a green copy. In this particular configuration, I have this carbon fiber hood attached to my car. And I'm gonna assume that this is an option that I may not wanna show on every single version of my car. In order for me to hide a particular part of my model, all I need to do is right click on the part that I would wish to hide and make sure that your selection tool is actually turned on to part and not the entire model. We can right click on that part go to hide show and then choose to hide. You'll notice that once it's hidden, now I no longer shows up as the carbon fiber hood. Instead, it's now just a standard aluminum hood that's painted the body color of our frame. Now, finally for the last configuration version, I'm gonna jump back into the red version and let's go ahead and call this one the warehouse because I'm gonna have my car located inside of a warehouse and I'm gonna go ahead and change the background of my scene. Once again, I'm gonna find my file libraries, find the environment that I wish to use, and we'll see that we have a whole bunch of different environments that we can choose. In our case, maybe go with the low key studio and just drag and drop that background directly in. Once we're here, we can go ahead and manipulate the view however we wish. Maybe rotate it around just a hair so that we can see the side and it will look good in a brochure if we choose to put it in. But with that, we now have four different configurations of our one part model. We have the base model with the red and that kind of uh, garage background. We have the green copy with the green background. And then finally, we have the green copy with the hood changed and then the final version. With that, that's going to be the end of this video. I'd like to thank you for watching, and please make sure to like and subscribe to the Hawkridge Systems YouTube channel for more educational content such as this.